it's Monday, February. Oh no, it's March 1st today. So anyway, we're just getting ready to ride out in the van here, in the van warming up in the morning in the yard at uh, Weyburn. Let's have a look around here. And uh, we're going to go out, do some splicing in a manhole today. So we'll go down and have a look inside the manhole. See my view. Sitting here waiting. But anyway, we're not going to go up the pole today, but uh, we'll go in a manhole. So here we are on the street now, and as usual, you can't get parking really close to where you want to go, but we're going to have a bunch of stuff to unload from the van, and that guy right there, that's the manhole we're going to go into, okay? Yeah, well, one of the first things we got to do is change out of these little boots that I have, and I'll get over here, put on these huge rubber boots. Gonna be, it's gonna be wet down there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of stuff set up now. And there's a the orange thing there is a is a fan and it's gonna blow into a pipe over there. And we got the manhole guard set up there. And then we we'll open the manhole. And it looks like there's a lot of water down there right now. But there's also cables and stuff. I don't know if you can see that. So we're probably going to pump the manhole. We'll use a pump. So far we haven't gone into it. Just, uh, just setting it up for now. We're going to get a generator running on the truck. Plug all this stuff into. Okay, so now this is the next important part. This is what we call a gas detector. And we're going to turn it on here in the truck. And it's going to come in and it's going to find out how much oxygen there is and how much carbon monoxide there is. We want it to take a first first reading in the truck where the air is clean up here. And then we're going to lower it down the hole and see if there's any kind of poison gas down there. And it's going to stay in the hole for the rest of the day recording the gas and if any uh, gas leak comes in while I'm working down there, it'll start going into alarm and it'll go beep, 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 beep. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for that to happen. In the meantime, the hole's getting more set up. We've got a blower there. The orange thing is a blower. It's attached to a long pipe. It's going to blow fresh air down there. And i got my set of lights set up. And the manhole guard's in place and the ladder's in right now. So we're just going to test the gas test the hole for gas and then we should be good to start pumping. Okay, so now I got the blower attached here. And, and the line's going down in the hole. Let's go on down here. Okay, well, it's actually down inside the manhole. Okay. So, you can see quite a bit of water in here uh, up over top of my boot. So, I'm going to start pumping it. And these holes in the side are where cables come in, some other locations. The big silver box right here is the one I'm going to be working on today. These other ones are all telephone cables that come through here. And here's where we splice into them and connect everyone to everyone. So in this manhole, there's holes coming from that way, which I think is east. And then there's cables coming from this way, which is north. And at the other end of the manhole are cable holes too, and they, they're coming from the west side. And they all get joined together in here. It's quite a, it looks like a mess, but uh, really, they actually know what is all happening in here. All these are huge cables, they're carrying a lot of telephone lines. They come through here, and this is where the splicing underground happens. So 
I'll show you some stuff later. And here we are. See? And look, look on the floor. There's no toilet paper. That's just clean water. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here we are. We got the manhole pumped out. Well, you know, it's never going to be completely clean, but it's, a lot of that water is gone now. And we got fresh air coming in here. We got the gas detector down there. Just watching, making sure that uh, the air is safe. It's just going to sit there and go beep all day. And up here we got a air hose. That's the, the yellow hose you see from up top. That's up the hole right there. And it's blowing fresh air down in here, and the air comes along here, right to where I'm working. So, the next thing we got to do is we got to start opening up this place. You see, there are like all these nuts on here. And my wrench is not going the right way. So, this is going to take you a little while because there's nuts on the top, all on there, holding it together, and then on the bottom as well. So I'll come back when I got this open and have a look and see what's inside there. Hi. Anyway, okay now I got the splice open. I'm gonna try to hold the camera as far as I can. There's the splice what it looks like. Here. See these? Lots of wires inside there. The one inside this nice container. So whoa dude. We're going to start ripping these out. Okay, that's what I'm going to be working on. It's huge. There's 1,800 telephone lines in there. 1,800 just in this one cable. Pretty big, hey? Okay.